Hey, what's up? I'm Jason Howell, and I got to spend a little bit of time with Mattel's new toy. That's right, we have Mattel on Before You Buy, but it's the Viewmaster. That's right, we have the Viewmaster on Before You Buy, but it's a Viewmaster VR viewer. That's why it's here. It's actually a pretty cool uh, little device. It's $29.99. There's no actual technology inside of here. It is pretty much just a VR case for your uh, device uh, running the card, you know, with cardboard compatibility. Um, but let's take a look at it here. You can see anyone who's familiar with Mattel's kind of Viewmaster line. I know when I was a kid, I had a Viewmaster. I used to love it. This is kind of Mattel revamping the Viewmaster line to bring it into the modern age. And I think they did a pretty, pretty darn good job of bringing a little bit of that kind of uh, 80s plasticky quality to uh, the visor here. You've also got the little slider, which mimics the slider button that you had on the old school Viewmaster. Actually, the action on it feels very similar to that, but very cool. This is designed to be used, Mattel says, for seven and up, seven years of age and up. That's because of the software that they include has a lot of text built into it. So any younger than that, and they might have a hard time kind of keeping up with the stuff you're going to see. And I'll show that off in a second. And uh, Mattel also stresses that this is optically safe for children. You're putting a screen right up against their eyes. Mattel says, that's not a problem. Uh, but as far as the hardware is concerned, very tight piece of kit here. It's big, easy to hold. It's very hard to drop. And actually, it has this little wrist strap that you can kind of put your put your hand in just in case you're you know afraid that you're going to drop it to the ground. So that's a nice inclusion. It doesn't have a head strap. And some VR... Um, really, really nice VR solutions have a head strap so that you can let your hands go. So you can see, I'll put it up to my face. I have to hold it like this the entire time. That can get a little tiring. But again, Mattel kind of says you're not intended to be wearing this for hours on end. You're probably going to play with it for like 20 minutes at a time. And it's probably okay for that. Um, the button action, like I said, it's tight. This is a mechanical button. And actually, I'll pop it open here so you can see on the inside what it's doing. When you hit this button... It's actually moving that little part right there. And essentially what it's doing is it's tapping the, the touch screen in a particular zone. And that's how it registers a button press in the app, which is kind of neat. Uh, but it's mechanical, so it feels pretty solid. It's not going to uh, you know fall apart, hopefully. Um, and let's see here. So this is the attachment component. This fits up to, Mattel says, six-inch devices, most six-inch devices, and all of the major devices are going to fit in here. Um, my Nexus 6, which is about the, uh, you know, the outside range of what fits in here, you can see it just kind of slid in there pretty nicely. If you have a much smaller uh, device, this is a little adapter that you can slide in that kind of bridges the gap so that you can fit a smaller device. I'm not really quite sure what devices those would be, but they've included that, and that's kind of nice. You can also see down here is a little speaker grill. That's because this, the front-facing speakers on my Nexus 6 go right into that. So you can hear it through the bottom. And it does a pretty okay job. The downside to this, of course, is that when you close this up, there's no port access on either side. So if you want to get super immersive with your VR experience, you're not going to be able to get that here. You're, you're locked down to using the speaker inside the device. So it's a little bit louder to people that aren't watching what you're watching in the VR environment and you know a little bit less immersive as far as that's concerned. Um, let's see here. Nose cut out right here. I did find this to be a little uncomfortable. I kind of wish that they had added a little bit of a kind of a, like a squishy quality to this. It's, it's slightly rubberized, but you know, when you've got it pressed up against your face for long periods of time, the nose, I don't know, it just kind of, it pinches right into the bridge of your nose and that can kind of get a little, a little painful over time. It's a minor gripe, but maybe in the next uh, version of the, of this uh, Viewmaster, they'll they'll do that. And then finally, you know, it's big, broad, plastic piece of gear here. Uh, super easy to clean. And I can tell you from experience, when you have kids, if you're buying them something, you want to make sure that you can clean it and, and keep it in tip top shape. And also, by the way, it survives a drop. You're putting a pretty expensive phone in here. And Mattel says that this passes their standard kid safe drop tests, even with a phone inside. So it's meant for kids. Absolutely. All right. So the second component of the Viewmaster is this. This is essentially, you know, kind of looks a lot like 
in the old school Viewmaster, the reels with the film that you would actually view uh, on them. Here, it's a lot less important. It's basically a platform for using to sync up with their included software so that you can cast augmented reality objects onto it. And really, in the beginning, it's just kind of serves as a menu more than anything. You can also kind of put uh, objects down there in a 3D environment and rotate them around. And I'll attempt to kind of show that off here. I don't have direct access to these apps into uh, our editing uh, system, but I can kind of show it off to you outside of here. So um, experience reel, that's what this is. This is an experience reel. I'll go ahead and say that I have that. And it'll bring me through. It says it wants to pair with the device and you can kind of see it's working on that now, but I'll go ahead and open it so that you can, uh, you can see more of what it's actually doing. There we go. It kicks into gear. It's going to start to uh, do a pass through on my camera and look for that. And now you can see, like, this is the space pack. So I've got a little uh, shuttle uh, essentially parked in the middle there. I can rotate this around and uh, move it around and stuff, and that shuttle will go with me. So that's kind of a neat little visual trick. And when you've got the, the viewer on your you know, right up on your eyes. It's kind of neat. It's, it feels a little gimmicky. On some of the other software, it acts more as like a menu system so you can choose where you want to go. Space, you know, for the most part is, is kind of limited. This is the space pack. Each of these uh, sets, there's space, world travel, and wildlife, costs $15 extra a piece. And as you can see, like space, for example, you're surrounded by all of these space objects. You can select to go into them and look all around them and rotate all around them and everything. And it's kind of hard to show with this camera, but you get the idea. Uh, there really isn't a whole lot more to it. I found $15 to be pretty darn expensive considering what you actually get. And they are completely optional because this is a cardboard standard Google Cardboard viewer. And there's tons of excellent cardboard apps and content and videos you can watch on YouTube that are cardboard compatible, um, all that stuff for free, if not dirt cheap compared to $15 a piece for these uh, experience packs, which I just kind of found to be kind of a waste of money for the most part. It's kind of neat, but younger kids are going to have a hard time keeping up with some of them because there's, a, you know, kind of text heavy and older kids are just going to get bored of them really quick because there just really isn't a whole lot of content in there while well, that kind of loads up. Not very deep, but, and I'll show you this real quick because I think this is where it uses it as a menu for the most part. All right, it took a little bit of trying, but I got there. Here's the Safari um, AR piece. A little difficult to see in this viewer, but essentially this is a menu and I can choose one of three different places to go once it locks in. You can see it's kind of tricky, kind of fiddly, uh, but it has a little bit of an, a neat 3D quality to it but not $15 neat. I guess that's my point here. So uh, that is the Viewmaster, the Mattel Viewmaster cardboard viewer. Uh, for the pros, I'd definitely say nostalgia is high on the list here. If you ever had one of these before, really like the old design, uh, there's a lot to like here. Very sturdy, kid-friendly design. It's not like the flimsy kind of cardboard viewers that you'll find that'll tear really easily. This is meant for kids, and that's definitely a plus. Uh, easy to clean, very easy to clean uh, all throughout. And it fits most phones, all the way up to six, six inch uh, devices. And I think that that's a pretty big selling point considering um, how tight the package is. As far as the cons, I'd say the nose cut out, you know, it's just, it's not the most comfortable uh, thing in the world, but you get over it quick. No wired headphone access, I'd say is kind of a big bummer in my opinion. No head strap, although it never said that it included one and the old school one never had a head strap. So that's not a big deal. And the experience packs, definitely not worth $15 a piece. So don't worry about it. If you just get this for the viewer, that's okay. And I would say that that's probably my advice here. If you, uh, you know, uh, at the end of the day, my verdict is definitely a buy for the hardware. I think this is a perfect gift idea for a kid, maybe a stocking stuffer or something coming up here at Christmas, but don't worry about the software. The software definitely a not buy. That is my review of the Mattel Viewmaster here. I hope that uh, you guys have enjoyed it. You can check out my reviews on Before You Buy here, as well as my other show, All About Android. I'll see you there.